This is the homework helper for chapter six, section six in the seventh grade textbook entitled Percent of Change. So the top 16 questions there all have the same directions, and I'm going to work through one through six with you. It says to find the percent of change, and then we're to round answers to the nearest tenth if necessary. So directions for finding percent of change say to subtract the two numbers that you're given in the problem, and you're always going to do the big minus the small, and then you're going to divide that by the original amount. Now, the original amount is the first number they throw at you in each question. So I'm not going to have to go and search through the question and say, which number in here is the original amount? In these questions, it's always the first number they throw at you. So in number one, it's the 20. In number two, it's the 24. In number three, it's the 56. In number four, it's the 25, so on and so forth. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to divide those two amounts and then change that number into a percentage. So let's look how this is done. In number one, I'm going to subtract big minus small. So in this question, since I have 20 and 11, I'm going to do 20 minus 11. 20 minus 11 is going to generate a response of 9. Then I'm going to take that 9 and divide it by the original amount, which again is the first number they give you in the question. So that's the 20. So I'm going to do 9 divided by 20 here. Now, of course, when you go to a calculator to do this, that's going to give you a decimal answer. But that's not a big deal because we know how to change a decimal into a percent. And of course, since this is entitled percent of change, they want a percentage, that's the answer. So when I take and divide, I get 0.45. And I'm going to change that first to a percent, again, twice to the right with the, percent, uh, with the decimal and add a percent sign. And that's going to give me, in this case, point, uh, I'm sorry, rather 45%. So 20 being decreased to 11 is a change of 45%. If you ever get an answer that's a negative, what you did is you did the small minus the big, perhaps. There should be no negative numbers here. Whether we're going up or down, the change is always going to be a positive amount. In number 2, 24 is increased to 30. So we're going to do 30 minus 24, which is 6. And then divide that by the original amount they gave you, 24. Well, 6 divided by 24 is 0.25. And now I'm going to take and move that decimal twice to the right and add a percent sign. So twice to the right, add a percent sign, and that's 25%. Number 3, 56 is decreased to 14. So again, I'm going to start off and I'm going to subtract big minus small. So I'm going to do 56 minus 14. 56 minus 14 yielding 42. And then I'm going to take that 42 and divide it by the first number they give me here, which is 56. And when I do 42 divided by 56, the result there is 0.75. And now I'm going to take and change that to a percent by moving the decimal twice to the right and adding a percent sign for 75%. So when I change 56 and decrease it to 14, that's a change of 75%. In number 4, 25 is increased to 100. So I'm going to subtract big minus small, so 100 minus 25, which is 75. And then I'm going to take that 75 and divide by the original amount, the first number they throw at me here, 25. 75 divided by 25 is going to give me 3. Now, some might say, oh, that's the answer, 3. There's no decimal there. That one didn't, didn't work out to be a decimal. It doesn't matter. You still have to take and move that decimal twice to the right and add a percent sign. So that's going to change this into 300%. In number 5, 18 is increased to 45. So again, I'm going to subtract 45 minus 18, big minus small, which is going to give me 27. So I'm going to divide that by the original amount here, which is 18. And when I do 27 divided by 18, the result is 1.5. And then I'm going to take and move that decimal twice to the right and add a percent sign for 150%. So going from 18 to 45 is an increase of 150%. All right, one more. Question number six. 90 is decreased to 75. So I'm going to do 90 minus 75 to start, big minus small, which is 15. 
and then I'm going to divide that by the original amount, which is 90. Again, the original amount is the first number they throw at us. 15 divided by 90 is going to give me 0.16 with the 6 repeating. And again, what I need to do now is take and move that decimal twice to the right and add a percent sign. And that's going to give me 16.6 .6 repeating percent.